so as Zach is putting his bike together, I, I thought I was just gonna talk to you guys, tell you guys a little story. Oh God. So we're here in South Africa, Cape Town to be exact, and even though we're with a bunch of guys who travel the world on a regular basis, we kind of perceive ourselves to be safe. So you walk around at night, uh, some guys are drunk, I don't know what other guys do, and... That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's about right. Uh, it's like it's a BMX contest, so people, you know, we, people like to party, people like to have a good time. And uh, as Stuart said, sometimes it's easy to let your guard down, especially when you travel as much as us. That, And it's shame on me for letting my guard down, but uh, two nights ago I had a situation, possibly a lituation, and um, we're going to explain that to you right now. So I'll see you guys outside, and I'll... Zach's gonna tell, tell you guys a story because I wasn't there, but I'm glad I wasn't there. God, you would've got me killed. You would've got me killed. I'm not even able to run, so. So this is where it all happens. This is where, this is where it all started. So basically, there was a couple of us, uh, some of the guys from the hospital and I were out here just chilling. And uh, it was like two in the morning and uh, we're all just hanging out, talking, and uh, I ran back upstairs to get my phone because it was charging. And when I came back down, I walked out. There was uh, two of the skaters over here, and there was these two girls. And the guy, uh, his name was Grant. I didn't know him at the time. I saw this guy standing here, and he's just like wasted, kind of like talking to these girls. So I come out, I'm like, hey, what's up? And I could tell the girls were kind of like, just like, the guy was, he was really, really drunk. And, um, so the girls were getting kind of annoyed with him and she was like, all right, I'll see you later. So homeboy walked up the street. So he just walks up the street. So we just consider, yeah, we're just out here talking. And then the next thing I hear is someone screaming. It's probably like maybe four minutes go by. And then I hear someone screaming at the top of their lungs, help me, help me. And it's, and I hear help me and then I hear help. Me. Like somebody is covering up the person's mouth. So I don't know what the hell I was thinking. My first instinct is to run towards towards cause it's at two in the morning and I hear some dude screaming in English like bloody murder help me so I ran and I ran probably up to where that black BMW is probably at the, where that street is and when I got up to the street as I'm running I thought the sound the help me was coming from the right side but uh, I learned later that, that it was there was there's an alley up there and he the guy was yelling and it was just echoing but as I'm running up there looking to the right to see whoever is screaming for help, I look and there are four massive dudes running at me. And I'm like, I, 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 I don't know if I sensed it was a bad situation right there, but four dudes are running at you and there's nobody else on the street. It's dead, dead silent. I'm just like, fuck. So I start running. And then the kids that were here are like, come on! They start running, they screaming for me to come and nobody knew the fucking passcode for the thing. So I'm running and like, as I'm running, I look and these dudes are behind me and I'm like, oh my God. And the passcode for the, the, the hostel is like crazy. It's like a four number code. So as I, when I realized that they're, they're behind me, I'm probably where the tree is and they're probably where that guy is. If you can see how far that is. So yeah. I've got a little bit of time on them. So I just start running and I'm running and I'm, People, they're all standing here at the door waiting for me. And I'm just, all I'm thinking of is the code, don't fuck up the code. Because everybody had been having problems like hitting the code all day long. And I run as fast as I can. I get here and I'm just focused on the code. I would have died right there. I would have died. Open it. Slam the door. When I slammed the door, two of the dudes ran up on the, like, they were gonna come up this way. They realized the door was locked. There was a guard here. He had like a big nightstick. He comes out, he's like, what's going on? These dudes take off running. Two seconds later, <laughs> homie Grant comes running down the street, face all bloody, no shoes, screaming, help me, help me, help me. So, Grant, if you're watching this, I tried to help you, homie, but four dudes running to me. I'm little. I got. I got a good looks. All right, let's go check out that alleyway. Let's go see the sketchy alleyway.
too is just like right in here. Maybe they, they fucking pulled them back into here. But I thought this, the screens were coming from over there. But maybe it was just here how he was like yelling this way. Yeah, it was, maybe he was here because that would make sense if he was yelling and it would, it would echo off that. But he's screaming. I come running up and the next thing I know, there's four big motherfuckers running at me. And I was just like, I wasn't even drinking, so I was like, on my had my wits about me. But at that split second, I knew that something, something was sketchy. So I ran back down. Thankfully, I, can't, I still can't believe I got the code. Three, two, one, four pound, and it opened first try. And uh, even the kids that were there, they're like, man, if you wouldn't open that door, we all would have been been messed up. Plus, after talking to some people about it, they let they said like. You know, like a lot of the, the troublemakers of the, uh, and that's really rare too for South Africa. Let me say that. That's uh, you know, you always got to keep your keep keep you know be aware of your surroundings. But that's the first time I've ever had any crazy thing happen while I've been here. But uh, yeah, motherfuckers. If there would have been BMX riders out there, it would have been a whole different a whole different ball game. Hi guys, nice touch, dude. Uh, thank you. Thanks. I'm still here. I still got my cell phone. I still got my wallet. Y'all didn't get me. I still got my bike. They're gonna come get me tonight though. <laughs> Have a good one guys. <laughs>